Awesome list. We're gonna jump right into it because we see something that I don't even know who this dude is. Who's Horton Palm? Solom? Solomon? Solomon? Slam? Uh, Horton, Horton Solomon. Solomon. I think oh, Horton. he was in the trench run. I don't think he made it. Horton Solomon? Solomon. No, Solomon. No, in all fairness, this is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. Joe, Joe's bringing out something OG, which almost is even. Actually, Nora is technically even pre trilogy OG because she's in a book. She's not even in the trilogy. These are movie characters. Exactly. <laughs> So if anybody uh, doesn't actually know what Horton Solomon does, you would not be remiss to not know that. It's okay. Uh, Horton actually has a natural predator when it comes to secondary weapons. He's allowed to reroll, I believe, up to two or yes. all blanks. I believe it's up to two. Uh, blank dice on any of his secondary weapons. So that's a pretty powerful ability to have. Um, okay. And then um, Biggs, as we all know Biggs. <laughs> Biggs comes pre-equipped with the R4-D6 Biggs droid. Mm -hmm. uh, usually. Sometimes you can get the super special variant Biggs that doesn't come with the Biggs droid, right. but it's rare. And then we got Nora, Nora Wexley doing the the, the alternative Nora Wexley tank, <coughs> tank build with PTL, yep. 3PO, R2-D2, Vector Thrusters, Alliance Overhaul, otherwise known as... Uh, I hate you, Nora. Or Zombie Nora, because she doesn't die. She comes to the show. She comes Undead. Back with, yeah. Uh, why don't you walk us through Billy's list, because a lot of those ships are things that you kind of... Uh, yeah, so Billy's of... got a, a variant on the list that I wanted to try out, kind of coupled with a variant of uh, Graham from Face to Face's list. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a variant on Darth Ezra. So Ezra has pushed the limit, TLT, Jan, Ors. So Ezra's going to go for a focus of eight every turn. He's going to have infinite focus on defense. He's so hard to kill. It's so annoying. He's probably going one straight every turn. But he's got TLT, so he doesn't really mind. Uh, Biggs with stress bot. So this is a very weird just saying. You can have, sometimes you can have something else. Yeah. As I'm saying, Billy's rock, rocking that very, yeah. very, very rarely seen alternative art Biggs. That's right. Uh, Rex naked. Rex is 14 points. He makes your opponents roll less red dice if they're shooting at anybody but him, yeah, has, uh, which they have to because Biggs is on the table. He assigns a new, uh, a new, uh, uh, basically a new component to the game that came out in wave previous wave. Ten. I forgot the number ten. Ten uh, condition card, which is basically called suppress the fire. So whenever he yep. attacks a ship, uh, that ship has to attack him. Otherwise, they roll one less attack die. Now that does refresh at the beginning of every single round when when um, Rex round. would fire again. However, the synergy in this list comes from the last ship in Billy's list. It actually goes away at the end of the round if he didn't shoot anyone. Right. Or if he shoots someone, the condition gets assigned to either the same person again or to someone else. Yeah. Right. Now, normally that's not that scary of an ability considering Rex is at PS4 and, yes. you know, he's shooting last anyways and it's not all that crazy, you would think. However, Billy's last ship is... Rourke Garnet. What the heck is that? What's a Rourke? Uh, I believe that's a... Uh, he's on a ship that was made famous by Kyle Katarn. The Moldy Crow. The Moldy Crow. Only he's not actually flying Moldy Crow, but it is a Hawk. So there are ships apparently other than the Hawk, other than, other than the Moldy Crow, but Rourke Garnet is rocking uh, Twin Laser Turret and Ops spec, uh, op spec, which we saw earlier on yep. in some rounds, the power of Ops Spec. Ops Spec's amazing. The key, the key to Billy's list right here is that Rourke ability, and if anybody doesn't really know, because you very rarely see uh, Hawks in this game that are Rebel, uh, Rourke allows you to pick one of your ships in your list and jump them up to PS12 for, fi for firing turn. So very quickly you can see how that is how you, you make Captain Rex PS12, That's it. he fires at somebody, suppresses them, and then because you have to shoot at Biggs, yep. everybody is, that one ship is now shooting one less die at Biggs. That's right. In a situation like this, I kind of feel like Billy's going to try to always put that on Nora, yep. which would actually really help mitigate the damage she can put out with her Absolutely. shenanigans. Absolutely. And Billy does have initiative in this situation, so he will be going up. I don't know what matchups we might have. Horton is a 7, I believe, or is he an 8? Uh, I think Horton's an 8. It's hard to see with the yeah. peg. I'm pretty sure he's an 8. It's yeah. a ship you don't see very often, which is cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the suppressive fire is super powerful. Again, you're only paying 14 points for it. Sometimes the TIE Fighter does damage. Uh, but making Nora shoot one dice out the back is very great for Nora. Absolutely. So he's going to probably, Joe's going to probably have to focus most of his primary fire coming out the front arc then from his arc. That's right. He's going to have to go after Biggs first. They both will. Well, we've got the big standoff here where everybody yeah. can throw dice at each other's bigs until there's no bigs left. So, and I mean, there can only be one until there's none. So, we'll see. Rebel what Champion, wave one to 11, big Stark letter. Yeah, and Billy opting to use his newly shiny uh, regional templates that he won in the bounty that we had placed That's on right. in the game. And he won those by being the top ranked uh, player overall in Swiss who used each of their lists at least twice. That's right. Yeah, and uh, there we've got some. Oh, so it's interesting. Uh, Joe's deciding to go. Completely that way and go around them, not wanting to engage Billy in that open list. I guess he figures his his ship number disadvantage means that he doesn't want to go at him through that open laneway that they created there. Yeah, for sure. 
Uh, Billy being one of Ontario's finest had a pretty good day. We might have to revoke his membership from the club. That's true. I'm not so sure if you're allowed to maintain your status as Ontario's finest when you're actually playing well. Let's take his templates back. I think we should. Yeah, 100%. So off the bat here, we got two kind of wonky lists. I like them both. But um, what's the advantage? Who do you think can win? Like, What's the... What's the probability here, do you think? To be honest with you, I have absolutely no idea. Now, Not a clue. The interesting thing here is that because Joe's rocking that um, BTLA4 equipped Y-Wing, so he's, he's got his turret locked in the front, he's basically the stress hog on steroids, a stress hog with yeah. an ability. Yeah. Um, he's going to have to rely on always firing forward. So he's jousting. He's going to have to joust at some point. Now, it looks like he's... You know what? I mean, maybe being crazy. Do you see K-turns here? Yeah, I think Joe's going to K-turn. I was just going to say that it's funny how we have a little mind link happening here. It just makes the most sense to K-turn. See if Billy is crazy enough to commit to a two-turn. Mm -hmm. uh, or just a turn in general with his squad, which means that he might have to reposition a bit if he had to turn again the next turn to go after Joe's guys. I think it would be a very sneaky little strategy here. Now, this is also pretty interesting that I think in this game right now, it looks like the damage... The actual damage, the raw damage output advantage seems to be on Joe's side. However, Billy's list is definitely built to mitigate and to basically almost micromanage your opponent's list. That's right. He's got a lot of tools to help uh, grief out and, and reduce your opponent's ability to play the game their way. Again, this is one of the reasons why Graham had a version of this yes. list and took himself all the way into the top twelve, uh, top 8, mm -hmm. I think, at, yep. at Naboo with this list as well. But uh, you can't discount the fact that off the bat in the initial engagement, Billy has two TLTs. And Biggs, uh, you know, like at the TLTs. That's definitely true. And the fact to remember is that uh, Billy's TLTs are not locked to a forward arc. That's he's right. He's going to have full 360 range of motion That's with right. them. And the way he's got them staggered right now in his formation, he's covering each other's blind spots almost. Mm -hmm. that, the range yeah, ones have now been covered by the range two band of each other's TLT. And that's actually a really smart formation. It's, it's sneaky for sure. 100%. So it looks like they're going to... I think if I'm Billy right now, I'm going to do the... Well, yeah, he... Does the attack shuttle have a hard one? The attack shuttle does not have a hard one. Okay. Billy's going to be locked into doing a green maneuver every turn, which is going to be a one straight, a one bank, or a two straight. Mm -hmm. So it's not a lot of options. You're hoping to really just camp up the side of the table with him, take your time, hope your opponent doesn't sneak into the range one. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So he's going to have to bank if he wants to come in on a specific lane to try to cut it. He's actually going right. to have a harder time wheeling his four brick, uh, kind of that, that little box formation around now because of the fact that... His sh two of his ships don't have hard ones, so he's not going to be able to wheel them around. As we were talking about in the yes. previous game about TIE Fighters wielding, the um, but the X-Wing does have the hard three, but the Hawk... Well, the Hawk has one as well, but it's red. That's right. You're probably locked into doing hard twos, but the guys are pretty tight, so they might bump into each other. Uh, fortunately, it's early enough in the game that if you get a couple of bumps, it's not going to be a big deal. We might see one bank, three banks for his formation. Then one you could, yeah, absolutely. Again. And turn them in slowly. Now, I do like what Joe's doing down here, the way he's uh, slingshotting his... Uh, Nora in front of Biggs all the time, keeping her tightly packed in that Biggs bubble. Yes. That blanket of, of protection. But it's going to be interesting to see how he's going to want to engage. It looks, I mean, again, uh, based on the Rebel maneuvers, they're not the most agile ships. I don't assume Joe is going to want to cut in. He's probably and, and not. through that minefield, he's probably going to want to go the meandering long way yep. around the giant roads. Take his time over to Billy's side of the table and yeah. maybe scoop around the large rock in the corner. I don't think that bothers Billy all that too much again because he has no. the two TLTs that have, the, oh, okay. Gonna Billy's going to turn it. I don't think there's any disadvantage. Billy has a little bit more maneuverability. Mm -hmm. I mean, not a whole lot, mind you, but he has a little bit of maneuverability, especially with the TLTs and stuff. There, It doesn't matter where they go as long as they can complete their maneuvers, grab some actions, right? hopefully push the damage through. And what's one of the interesting things about this list is the highest PS ship in, in Billy's list is his bigs. And with him having an advantage, he's moving his entire list before Joe has to move anything. And that's why you can see as soon as Billy does his first formation, he's telling Joe that you can move because they're all doing the same thing. And Joe goes ahead and starts moving the rest of his ship. Yeah, it's good to note that. Whereas people at home might be wondering, like, why is this guy moving? That's what's going on. Pretty the, early, the, trying to rush this game. The players have decided to do a fly casual attitude for this game. And I think in the early rounds where it's not going to matter too much, you'll see that happening. But yeah, I think exactly. once you see the, the action kind of heat up here, I would be very surprised if, if, if you see that kind of a thing happening. Because, for sure, I agree with that. Because there's, at that point, I don't know if Billy can continue with the city. Now, you were saying Billy's in a great position here. Where yeah, that's what Billy wants, 100%. He's going to blast forward into that perfect laneway. Yeah, 100%. And I think, uh, what's the fastest forward that a uh, Hawk can go? Three, without getting stressed? Yes, the Hawk's going to go three forward. Um, as long as Ezra is not stressed, he can go up to a four forward. So do you think you just see three straights and just blast I think you're going to see a catch three straight here. Oh. Or do you two bank your whole squad and try to cut him in around that rock in case he tries to go that way? No, I think he. I, I 
I'm almost wondering if Billy doesn't just do the one straight and see where and Joe see goes. where he goes. Because remember, Ezra's a very powerful, not very expensive ship. He gets in range one. He's throwing four dice. But is Ezra not one of the best pieces in Billy's army right now? Yes, but he can't shoot Ezra right off the bat, anyways, because he has that big blanket as well. That is true. So, so as long as the big shielding is up, he's he's okay to kind of tilt away with impunity. Oh, there we go, four straight. So that he's means going he's, fast. He might go three straight in the back row because. Or you might gotta just keep your pieces together. Just stress the hawk. Life goes on. There probably won't be an engagement this turn, anyways. And if it is, he's rocking TLT anyways, which exactly. generally doesn't mind too too much about the stress. Nope. So he's going for it. And he's got just... an off spec. So if he misses, good things happen. So remember with the off spec, if he if he misses, someone's getting a focus, and then Jan Or is going to switch that focus into an evade. So it's almost nice if Captain Rex shoots first and misses. You actually kind of want that to happen. You want that to happen, 100%. Because suppressive fire is not a, is not necessary for you to do damage. That's right. You, just you have, just to, have attack. to have to attack. So that's a very, very optimized list then. Because if he misses with Rex, not only does he suppress them, but he generates an evade token for for Biggs. It's almost some hilarious synergy if you think about it, that you have this 14-point ship that like you want to miss. You want your ship to miss. Now question, is Jan's ability once per round? Jan? Yeah. Work? Oh, Jan, yes. Jan. Jan's yes, ability once around. around. That's right. So you can see Billy's actually already used Jan's ability to get the new interesting rectangular evade tokens mm -hmm. from the most recent kit. I believe he got those that are open. Oh, that's oh. spicy. I like that, Joe. Oh, that's an like interesting that. maneuver. It's a little heaver action, as I call it. But now he can one bank Biggs next turn, and he puts him behind he a rock, that. gives himself I think the he rock hit that debris. Though, yeah, yeah. looks like he's touched on the it. template very slightly. I'd be very surprised oh. if they don't count that as as a. Uh, Obstructed or it does look it does look like he's on it. Yeah, now. he definitely moved his template a little bit. And it was clearly an accident, but that slight little hair is the difference of him hitting it or not. Let's see what Billy rules it. Billy is a very fly casual attitude. Even though he's all dappered up with his French cuff shirts that he had to roll. He always sleeves. wears those. Billy is sometimes likes, likes loves to rock fancy. He's a dapper dude. Yeah, even on our little party bus that we took to Syracuse, uh, the YV-666. So it looks like he's elected to, again, give his opponent the benefit of the doubt there and allow him to get that for the focus token. Nice guy, Billy. So this is, again, so in the initial joust, until we see Biggs' drop, do you think that the advantage is Billy's? So I gotta feel two TLTs onto a Big Z. That's probably a higher damage output then. But then yeah. again, we see Nora coming in and she's checking for target lock on Biggs. And if he doesn't, that's going to allow him to attack somebody else with impunity, which he's already decided to go after Rex, which is a very, very smart call by Joe. I'm so like, I think, I think Joe thought the four straight was going to be a, the right, did he call it, I wonder? Because now that he's actually out of range three of bigs, he's going to get two rounds of firing on, on Rex. If he can take Rex out in the first turn, that's a massive advantage in his favor. Yeah. Maybe Billy should have just gone one forward there and, and, and saw what happened and then been able to go the three straight the next turn and would have already drawn Joe into his trap. I never feel like the one straight to see where your opponent's going to go is a bad maneuver. Mm. It's, just, it's just a good call. It just seems like one of the best things that the Rebels can do. 100%. Take your time, see where they're going to go, and then plan your maneuvers from there. Going fast is not advantageous. You have 75 minutes. Especially because at that point... Billy would have had both his right. ship right or his ship forward lane ways to deal with exactly. That so that's interesting. So Rex actually got two damage, and Biggs evaded them, but he had to spend his focus, which means two dice is coming from Biggs. Yeah, and Opspec is going to trigger. Opspec is trigger, so yeah, it's going to be tricky now for his Biggs to kill. So Horton is going to be able to fire through the rock. So Biggs is sorry. So Rex is going to be rolling four four evades, five first because of the primary weapon, and then yep. four on the second. You got it. In the TLT shot. So he's going to go ahead and stress Rex quite a Killing lot. Killing Rex here would be a huge play. Absolutely. Rex is a pain. Oh, Ooh. not much rolls like that, Billy. Let's hope Billy didn't use up all of his evades in the first attack. <laughs> there they go. Okay, I mean, if that's how you want to play it, Billy. <laughs> but my glittery dice don't ever Fly roll. Fly casual. Yeah. Four evades. My glittery dice never roll. Right? Nice. TLT's coming through for... Uh, that's nice. Good choice. Three hits, it looks like. Yeah. It's hard to see the little bit of glare. Comes Billy. Uh... Spending his focus, not thinking twice about that. Okay, I guess... Not taking damage. I'm thinking we're going to have to re revoke his li his license to uh, the Ontario Finest Club. Yeah, I think so. We might have to put him on the same list as Evan soon. He's rolling way too well to be in Ontario's Finest. <laughs> I mean, it's only the second round, but... Oh, for, those of us, uh, for those of us who are like, what's Ontario's Finest? We talked about it a little bit before, but there's the template on the table. Yeah. Preposterously fancy. Yeah. Good, Just good stuff. So one damage is going to go on Rex. Could have gone way worse. Type fighters don't like the TLT. That's true. But Nora is going to be able to convert potentially for well, 
No, but now we saw we've seen some Noras before. Yep. And now we're just definitely making sure that Biggs isn't in range three. But Nora's gonna throw three dice, maybe four if you can uh, get a good roll like oh, that. Oh, that's a great roll. I spend the target uh, lock and focus for four. Now. But Biggs is rolling five dice, so you know it could be okay. No, it's actually on Rex because it's at Rex. Uh, Rex. Out of range. Sorry, Rex. That's what I meant. Yeah. Because it's gonna be obstructed. It's gonna be range three. Yeah. That see that that was a great roll, and I think Joe making the right call to spend his focus yep. for trigger Nora's ability. And, sorry, spend his target lock to trigger Nora's ability, and then... Remember that, Billy's probably going to have to shoot the, everything at Biggs anyway, so it doesn't matter if... Uh... Yeah, and Billy remembering his condition token for Captain Rex. Yep. So, it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Oh, that's a pretty darn good roll. Three hits and a crit going through on Rex. And yeah. that's obstructed, though, so at range three, so he does have five dice. Uh, and, and Billy taking one. Two of eight, so he's taking the hit crit, actually. Oh, and so that's just dead. Yeah. And there goes Rex. And that was uh, a pilot. Right. It was a de yeah. That doesn't matter when you're dead. So that's unfortunate because that's a huge, yeah. That was hugely, a huge piece of the hugely puzzle. Hugely key piece for Billy's list right there to lose that so early without without really suppressing anything of any value. That that's that might have been a ma major tipping that point. That was a major play. Maybe Billy's drinking the blue milk as well. So. <laughs> or Joe, like I said, Joe made a wonderful call yes. on that hard two turn. Yeah, the was turn was very unexpected. It was a very good call. I would not have seen that in a million years. It was a brilliant maneuver. So I think he threw too many dice from Biggs there. Oh, Billy's initiative, so that was yeah. Billy's Biggs. Yeah. And that's two damage onto Biggsy, which is what you want to see. Yeah, that's huge. If he can trade off Rex for Biggs, I think that's an okay trade off. Yeah, because he's still going to have his Biggs bubble up. Yes, he won't have his... He won't have that uh, Rex suppressive fire anymore. Ooh, three from his bigs. Ooh, that's three with the evade token. Billy's, uh, his bigs. Oh, Rex died, so the condition token goes away? Yeah, the condition right. goes away when he dies. It doesn't right. persist, unlike the Kylo card. Uh, yeah, I thought it went till the end of the turn. Yeah. You think it might, but I guess because... I guess I'm used to the Kylo condition. The thing is, because of the ships... Now, here's actually a really interesting and quandary for those of you out there. I'd love you, uh, any of you who might know the answer to this, maybe write it on the comment page when this is posted. If Rex had fired and suppressed... Uh, a like a PS equivalent ship and then died he's not supposed to be removed until fire right, so, he would stay. so he would stay in his, con his condition would persist if everything was PS4 yep that's a really interesting thing to see some damage going on Biggs here in the hall so Billy really wants Oops. to be able to take Biggs out this comes turn comes the second TLT volume oh, looks, it. looks like another one one giving us the finger yeah Biggs has got to be down to needing wow. to pop intro he's integrated. got one hall and integrated astronaut oh, I don't think we've seen Ezra do no. Darth Ezra things yet. No. Da Not quite a Darth Ezra, but... That's we'll probably see. Ezra oh. right there. Yep, here comes the Foci. No, oh, way. that was the other way around. Okay, okay. so miss. And... One, one potential hit. hit. Okay, and nothing, and so... No. That's an close. eyeball. That's enough. Yeah. That's going to yeah. make him pop integrated. That zero's the integrated. So, I mean... What do you think now? We we have one hall left on Biggs for I Rex. I feel I like... that's okay. Uh, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like... Billy came out... Uh, the winner? No. The loser? I do think so, because you know what? No, because Joe gets to fire two out of the three of his ships first. So with his with his big still being alive for one more round, that means one of his ships, whether it be Nor Horton or, or Nora, does not take damage. And he is running a 3PO R2-D2 Nora, Ugh. which is going to be obnoxiously difficult for Billy to kill. He needs to keep both of his TLTs alive as, as without a shadow of a doubt. He's got to get Horton and Biggs off that field, I think, Biggs. as fast as possible, and then keep both of his TLTs on Nora. Biggs will die before he shoots, though, because remember, there's work. That bump, is a good point. Bump up Ezra to 12, put the pain train down. That is a good point. And the good thing is about the the, the Ezra there is that if you do get that range one forward arc, you're laughing because the, the attack shuttle rocks three dice out the front arc. So that's a four dice hit. A little bit of a bump on the on the, uh, on, on the dial getting up into there, but we, we slide that back up all nice and nice. Yeah, it was slightly more like that. Good job, Billy. Way to be meticulous. So... We're doing one. Are we doing one straights with uh, the the squad here? Because that's the only way that he can clear stress and trigger all of his wonderful things that he's gonna do. Uh, who are we referring to, Billy? Or, yeah, uh, for Billy's character Joe. right now, Joe. Uh, yeah, uh, I think that's probably what you want. And then, okay, so two straights to clear stress because the the. I think you might want the one straight just in case uh, Joe hard twos maybe with, um, with Biggs, and then he's in that range one bubble, so he can't shoot the TLT. Mm -hmm. But I think the hard two would still potentially give Billy a forward arc, or he could just work with his. Yep. He could just work up. He could work himself for sure. He could also work up his bigs, and oh. get that. Don't forget. I mean, I know we don't arc, we don't we often forget that, but bigs is still flying an X wing. Mm -hmm. it's and also, I heard they blew up the first Death Star. 
No, that's a mistake. That was Galen or so. Uh, well, he, he allowed <laughs> it to happen. Okay, yeah, Get your lore straight. So it's interesting to note that if Rourke pumps himself up, which he could do. Which he can do. Shoots the TLT. The one shot kills Biggs. He still has to fire the second shot, which could miss, triggering the ops back. Oh, that's an interesting thing to think about, too. Now, does he have to fire his second shot at Biggs? Yes. Okay, so let's hope they remember all those interactions if that's what ends up happening. So it's a very interesting little thing that he has to shoot. He doesn't. He has to shoot the second shot. Because the the condition so on the a TLT is make the attack twice. That's correct. So it's one attack that you're doing twice. That's right. So you are still having to complete your attack. That's right. So Billy's going to have to do a PS kill. So I think, what do you think? Do you think you see a Rourke up of uh, Biggs? Rourke up Biggs. I think you have to Rourke up Biggs. You're not going to take the two dice primary on the Hawk. However, the oh, and again, because because Biggs becomes PS12, you no longer have simultaneous fire. That's true. So can how does Nora not get stressed this turn? She goes too straight and she just clears stress. Nukes Biggs. Uh, yeah, that's about all you're going to do. No more suppressor fire to deal with. It's some classic rebel move straight. I think we see a one bank bump with the Horton, and yeah. just, just to get just to get. He's not his, getting an action anyways. Who cares? Just get to get his arc. arc point in the right way and be yeah. able to stress Biggs reduces his ability to get that evade token. Oh, that's right. He does have vectored thrusters. Let's not forget. Now, does he be able to do that without hitting the debris? Yes, he does. Jumping into range one of Ezra is not always what you want. Uh, especially if he can PS kill. Yeah, if he can PS kill uh, Biggs. Yeah, the PS kill on Biggs is going to be huge. Now, he is... Here's the thing, though. He's going to have to roll naked dice to do that. Yeah, it's not what you want. Because he decided to use the Jin... The, sorry, the Jan ability to give Biggs the focus, the evade. So it does look like Billy has decided to work up Biggs. He's going to take the range one on his Biggs. He needs good dice. Oh, uh, that's not what you want. He needs the exact opposite All of right, that. All right, well, offset triggers, if Billy remembers. Yeah. Tokens, tokens, okay. That's good. Yeah. I think, actually, Joe might have pointed it out like a gentleman. It's always nice to see some sportsmanship when you're playing. Yeah, so now it goes back to uh, Joe's list now. He's going to go Horton first or Nora Oh, first? Horton's a higher pod skill, so... Oh, yeah, there you go. He is PSA. So going with stress <coughs> bot on Biggs. Now, is that obstructed or unobstructed? To me, it looks obstructed. It looks we'll obstructed. Have to, we have to see the ruling on the field. Obstructed would be very helpful for Billy. The three dice versus the three dice on the TLT, which mm -hmm. is also naked. So the other thing to remember here now, Billy can't actually kill Biggs this turn. Nothing. Nothing, nothing for him to be able to reroll. Okay. Because they weren't blanks. And That's again, right. it, wasn't a, it was a primary. But R3A2 putting some... He hasn't decided to stress yet. Okay, now he is going to. Okay. Bit of a... I mean, why wouldn't you? I know why wouldn't you, but you know. It's his option to decide. You shouldn't presume. 100%. Okay, so two hits. Uh, he can only reroll blanks. Uh, see if it's obstructed. So I guess they ruled it wasn't obstructed. And using the obstructed. evade token. Yep. 100%. So no damage has gone through yet. If he can survive this without taking damage, it would be pretty good for Billy. And there's a hit crit. And nope. unfortunately, he is going to take two. Okay, so oh, one just takes the one. Yeah, okay. it's TLT. Oh, right, yeah. One damage draw. goes onto Biggs, loses a shield. Not a big deal just yet. Mm -hmm. Fancy PLT, uh, PTL tokens. Mm -hmm. Classy. That was a top right. eight prize, I believe. Yeah. So, I mean... So that's a... Is that three hits? So that's a guaranteed another damage. Uh, so Biggs takes two. Yep, Biggs is now shieldless and damage in the hall. So Biggs survived the round... Question here, actually. I might have missed it. What did Nora do for her second action? To earn the stress. Oh, she vector... Wait a second. How does she... On the then she wouldn't have been able to complete that barrel roll. Oh. If she gained that she stress... Must, she, she, that, must have been, uh, she must have missed it. Something because must. either she's missing a token for an additional action, or... He focused. Maybe pulled it away. Clear. He did focus. On the attack. He must have focused. No, but Nora's rocking a stress, and she has yet to... She just fired now. She, she, I think he pulled the token off. Oh, on his attack? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I must be one turn behind. Damn this blue milk. <laughs> blue milk on the rocks. Okay, so where are we at right now in the order of operations? So we're looking at uh, Rourke and Darth Ezra firing. Here's the thing. Billy has to fire... Now, can Billy... Choose to use his TLTs and avoid the, having to fire at Biggs, because his yes. only valid target is to use his TLT. So that's part of the nerf. That's right. In the before before they uh, modified the the way Biggs that interaction worked. No pre nerf, you could have you could have shot your TLT as well if you couldn't shoot your primary. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Ooh that's on. That's Nora on Biggs. It looks like. That's Biggs on. Uh, 
starts oh, Ezra. Oh, Big's on Ezra. Okay. So Ezra's taking two shields. That's rough. That's really rough for Billy because now Ezra's down He's to such, two. Look, it's a 75% chance with the focus that you're not going to take any damage. Yeah. And that's and unfortunately sometimes did not play out in his favor. That's how the cookie crumbles. Yeah. So Billy is definitely behind now. He's got to take something off the table. He's got to get something going here. So is, is everything going to go on Horton, you think? I mean, that's the low-hanging fruit. Or are you going to try to go for the four dice on Nora and hope for the best? I mean, if he does that, then he can use TLT with Okay, Horton. let's go for Nora. Yeah. I like All how right. he, There you go, four damage. There you I go. I like how he was praying to the dice, but like, give me, a, give me results. Dice for the dice god. Ooh. So he uses 3PO. Yes, he does. So he takes three. shields are down, so we can R2 at the end of the turn. He can if he goes one. Oh, R2 one. crew, sorry. I'm thinking of R2 crew. <laughs> Yeah, he's got R2 Wrong one. R2 droid 3PO uh, There's too many R crews. There are too many crews, yeah. R2, too many R2s. Yeah. Okay, so now you're going to put the TLT on Nora. You're not going to think twice about that. Uh, I believe he's already used the TLT because there are dials. Who did he TLT? Hmm. He must have primary. He must No, he had to primary Biggs. Oh, he and did. We, yeah, I apologize, folks. Are we, we a turn behind? Have, we might be a turn behind. We might have missed a fire and We apologize for that. Uh, but that's the only thing that could have happened because that was a legal target. That's right. You have to fire at Biggs. So wouldn't he have... That would have been two dice. TS bumped himself with Rourke then? Wouldn't that have made more sense? Hopefully you can put that one damage through. Hmm. That's a call. I don't know. Or you PS bump Rex and just try to... Or sorry, uh, Biggs and try to kill the other Biggs, which makes equal sense. That's what he did. That's I what mean, he did. You figured the four dice is a better like, option. What, yeah, I think that makes dice. the most sense. I would have gone with naked, four dice over two. But the naked dice. Four dice over two dice modded, I still think four dice is better. You think so? I mean, the odds are in your favor, I think, I think mathematically so well. for you to do the heal. You yeah. needed one damage on Biggs. That's true. And again, that was another rough turn for Billy, because not only did he eat two damage on his Ezra, his his Biggs is almost mortally wounded as well. Yeah. And Joe's Biggs is still alive. Ezra took shields. Yeah. And now, no, Nora's going to get her regen, start starting, to, you know, the need, the regen train's going to start leaving the station here. Yep. And he's still going to have Horton coming in, stressing everybody. Biggs is no uh. longer get his free evades. So that makes sense. Clear stress, fo focus evade, start the Ezra, the, the Ezra cycle. And we can still get the evade with the Rex back. That's true. The operation specialist. Sorry, the operation specialist. Yeah, we yeah. could still generate one that way. That Too many specialists. Work, yeah. Okay. I'm doing a one straight. Mm-hmm. I like it, I like it. Yeah, Giving the bump. bump. Hoping to catch catch Nora there. Yeah. And just maybe eat up some of her actions, which would be great. Yeah. She won't hit so hard if yeah. uh, she doesn't have focus target lock and all that good stuff. That's a good point. All right, pulling the ship off there. So you can see these two guys trying to be very clean with their positioning and, and the way those things kind of go in there. Yeah, you have to be. Well, I mean, now you're in top tables, you know, it's you, you want to make sure you, you get everything. I like the way he puts the ship aside so you know what ship it is. I'm going to start doing that. Let's do that. And because Billy has initiative, his bigs goes first. Interesting. He's really trying to gum up the works. I think he's also trying to shirt turn uh, turn off uh, R3A2. Which I don't hate that call. I think mean, that's a good idea. He gets in a, if he can get in a range one of Horton, he's only taking three dice versus, you know, yeah. two, two, three, and three, and he's taking two less stress. Uh, he has the potential to survive. Now of course if Nora does with the one straight and bumps, you're you're looking at a range one shot with Nora. Um, yeah, the 4K from Biggs is a good call. Yep. Damn, those arc cannons. Too big. But now you're out of the range one, so Rourke and Rourke himself. Missed the first shot, maybe. Grab an ops back. Hit the second one. Biggs dies. Yeah, I don't mind that. Unless, of course, he's going to hard two with Nora for the rear arc. But that would not be a stress clearing maneuver, nor would it be a regen maneuver. So he's doing two the bank. two bank. So he's, he's going to bump into Rourke, which mm -hmm. is what Rourke wants right now, mm -hmm. I think. I think you'd really want him to bump into Biggs, but beggars can't be choosers, right? No. But he, so yeah, so what do you do here? Do you, you obviously bump up Biggs, and then you take the four dice attack on Nora. The one evade die, if he gets good dice, it's definitely going to eat something. She is going to regen one shield, but if Billy can strip two or three to get two or two damage into there. Yep. It's going to be interesting. Ezra does look like he's in range one, however, so he will be able to hopefully finish off Biggs with TLT fire. And yes. Billy's almost guaranteed going to lose his bigs this turn. 100%. The question is, do you get a little more gambly and try to... Uh, do you bump up bigs and try to take that range one I think on you Nora? have to. Do you have to? I think you have to because if you don't, you've basically given your bigs up for nothing. Because Nora has a range one, Horton has a range one. Horton's going to throw three dice and stress him. I mean, he probably won't at this point. He already has the four stress. And Nora's going to throw four dice. 
sure they're going to be unmodded results, but that's seven dice and he only has to do two damage. That's right. I believe Biggs is on one hall left. One or two? One. Sorry. He's at one. There's, one. Two, there's, two, there's two Biggs, so... Sorry, uh, Billy's Biggs. Biggs. Billy Biggs is on two. Billy's Biggs is on two hull plus an invaded action. That's right. Yes. So he's got three left on Biggs. I think you should still take... I still think you bump up. I think you bump up Biggs, take the shot, try to damage Nora, and then see if your Big survives. And if he does, amazing. And if he doesn't, well, at least you put a lot of damage into Nora. And then you've got you know your TLT Ezra Fire with a focus and evade should finish his Bigs. And then you've still got two TLTs left to try to whittle down. I mean, at that point, you have to commit to the Nora and kill her. The problem is now next turn that Nora's gone. She's gone, and she's she's on the the, the train down to Regen Town. That's true. Then, as we've seen so many times. Okay, so Billy's going for the looks like yeah. the TLT shot. No, first Nora season. missed his opportunity to regen the shield on. Oh. So. Oh, they didn't do he, it. He missed his opportunity. And okay, so down. as okay. going to one hit, and one evade. Yeah. And here comes the second shot. And yeah, there he goes. Rip okay. Biggs, twenty seventeen. Yeah. I mean, he did do his job. He, he Biggs survived. Did Biggs things. He, he survived. He survived two rounds longer than one round longer than I expected him to. Yes. Being able to be out of range, out of range of a few of those yeah, shots. Yeah, absolutely. So now we get Nora. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Horton. Sorry, there's just three dice, and that's yeah, only one damage. One dice. If Biggs doesn't take damage here, that's huge, beautiful. Huge. That's, that's what Billy needed. So range one, no TLT shots. Yeah. So now so it comes Nora's to four dice from Nora unmodified. Okay, so we're looking at two hits. So he's going to survive potentially. And oh, Billy coming back with the strong dice. So Biggs didn't take any damage this turn. Took one. Uh, he took one. Oh, he took the one. It was a focus evade, I believe. Uh, the shiny dice are just super hard to tell. On yeah, the I, thought they were, I thought they were two evades too. So that's uh, that's the best possible outcome. Yeah, so now you're looking at shooting Horton, I guess, with both your guys. Uh, or do you plug into Nora? Uh, Nora's running away though. Can he's you plugging catch up in Nora? Nora? He's plugging into Nora. Okay, I'll take it. Ooh, three hits. Nice. nice. So maybe Rourke can bring the pain train with the TLT. He's going to call 3PO0. He's yep. going to get the one. So he's taking no three. No target locker focus to do that. So he still eats three. Ouch. You know. So he's down to three. So you can't kill him with the TLTs next turn. You can't because of where Ezra is, unfortunately. Ezra's yeah. got to go fast, Ezra's, unfortunately. Oh, he's going to do a one bank to clear the strats, probably. But Nora can go three straight. And That's right. TLT so he's not range. a part of this game. So Nora, so Ezra's out of the, out of the game for, what, three rounds now? Potentially? Oh, uh, he can still shoot Horton. That's true. Pepper him. But the good thing is, the big thing is, is two dice. Yeah, the terrifying hawk primary. Ter on Horton. Hawk. One. Oh. oh. And Horton says, "It's always nice I when the hawk primary think. does some damage." And Horton's like, "I don't think so, baby. I flew the trench run." This is, this is two dice. What are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. I mean, it's always a dream when you can get free damage out of a hawk primary. You don't expect to, but when you can, yeah. it's pretty sweet. So Billy's stressed with his bigs. What does he do? He provides cover for his Horton. You're gonna go the big one straight and bump and hope that you can catch that Nora not moving. Yeah, but I think if Joe sees all that, he the two bank clears at this point now that they're right. touching. But if the two bank clears, the one bank from Ezra and then barrel roll backwards it might catch you in the arcs. Oh, that's not that's not a bad and idea. And then the hawk can just turn. The hawk can do a, a two like turn. A, like a two turn and grab a focus. Maybe you could catch this guy. If you hit him with the two TLTs, he's going to die this turn because he only got three hall left, right? Mm -hmm. When it's not going to die, he might die. Mm-hmm. If you could take Nora off the table, Billy might secure his victory. So Rourke has to... Rourke and Rezra are going to move before Biggs does, though. So the only way that Biggs can sell... He can't self-bump himself. So he'll either have to bump... Oh, uh, right. Into Nora. But yeah. if uh, if Nora moves first, he might bump into Horton, which means Biggs might take less damage. It's an option, too. We'll have to see what happens here. It's a, it's a pretty crucial turn, actually. Mm-hmm. If there's any way that Billy can get his Ezra in range... If he could potentially... Now, again, if if Joe remembers to regen next round, he'll be sitting on four life, which means he'll need both TLTs to hit perfectly, which, uh, statistically speaking, is in his favor to well, happen. Well, it's one die, so yeah. It's yeah the math is in his favor. But with 3PO, he's guaranteed to evade at least once. That's correct. So, and then the target lock and the focus. So I like this I like this decision. So you think Billy's going to do the one barrel roll uh, ship right backwards I, to try to close the gap? I don't make think it? he'll fit there. Okay, grabbing the focus. We'll see. He might try. I, I, I think it's worth checking. I think you check it. I think sure. he should go for the evade. Is he not? Oh. Ezra's ability only works when you're stressed, bud. It's so huge. Ezra's ability on defense, correct? Right. Well, there's almost no way for... Um, that TL oh, right. Well, the I keep forgetting that Nora's that's a stress spot. And Nora's got to go forward. That's a stress spot. So maybe yeah. not the worst case, then. 
But Nora can still shoot backwards. Mm -hmm. You need to keep the little Darth Ezra alive if possible. Yeah, because I feel like that's his late so, game piece. So it's a very oh, some bump in there, but I think he definitely hits it. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. That one's moved around a little bit. It moves so quite a bit. He's on it, and he's putting himself on it. So he's saying that he's on it. I mean, okay. I think he knew he was going to hit it, but we grab the stress. Yeah. Okay. So where's Biggs going? Hard two. I don't know. I think just a one straight, man. Yeah, probably. Fly cash. It does make sense. Yeah. Well, there's a definitely straight maneuver. Okay. Oh, so he's still rolling for his damage yep. and he's fine. Survives the one and eight. Yeah. Like yeah. you said, one straight, clear, stre clear stress. You're going to bump one of those two ships. I think it's just the smartest of options you can do. Yeah, because the Y wing is. Oh, yeah, there's a hawk. Well, I mean, no. I, think, I think Horton <laughs> might do a two bank here. You think so? Yeah, maybe. He can't shoot, though, if he does. He can't shoot anyways. He's got a TLT. He's locked forward. He's not shooting for the next four rounds. Oh, we're looking at Nora. Nora's going to go straight. She did the two bank to regen, get yep. the range one shot out the rear. That's wow. But then that means both of those guys are probably going to get a shot. That means, which is actually in the... So I think that's in Billy's favor. He does have the potential to take Nora off the board now. Yeah. And that'll be huge, because then we got two guys with TLT versus one guy with TLT, but it doesn't have a 360 arc with it. Mm-hmm. So do you work yourself up the PS12, or do you work up Ezra? Does it matter? It doesn't. Only so... Well, yeah, it does, because if you miss with Ezra somehow miraculously, you will get the uh, op spec. Right. And the, thick, and the thing to think about is, with the TLT shot, if you miss on the first attack, does that trigger op spec, or only if you miss on both attacks? Just one of the attacks, I think, because they're two separate attacks, right? But you make that attack twice. That's correct. So I'm not sure how does that how does that actually work. Pretty sure you. Uh, that makes sense. That's a good call. You can keep. Yeah, there keep him in there. You could kill Ezra, and again. He uh, actually can kill Ezra this turn. Yeah, I don't know if he has an arc. Actually. I don't think he has the arc. I think right. it's tricky to tell. But it would be a shame for Ezra to die over not taking the stress. That's going to be key. If he if he uh, is in arc there, that is. When I flew him, I always stress him. There's just no reason to. Yeah. Okay, so he bumped up uh, Rourke. I guess that makes sense. Maybe you're wondering if you can't give Biggs a stress, or sorry, a focus, and just potentially survive the shot. Yeah, it's maybe. Not a bad thought okay. process. Ooh, that's a guaranteed hit. So, oh, sorry. So Biggs was taking the range one. That makes sense. Oh, that does make sense. That makes if sense. He's gonna lose Biggs this turn. He wants to get damage out of him again. That's a good call. Yep. And, and you just put three damage into yep. into Horton. And if Biggs misses, hey, all right. Yeah. Grab a focus. Oh, that's huge. So he's out. Ooh, that might be a judge call. No, he was definitely out. Ooh. Ontario's finest token showing off again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so comes the TL. Oh, the three dice from Nora. Yep. No way to convert to a hit. Yep. So putting the target lock for the focus evade for the so, for the double crit. Yeah. So Biggs is definitely crit. smoked. Actually, he could technically survive with one. So one evade gets him two. He can integrate, and he has one life left. He dies anyways. Two. Yeah. He'd have had to make two evades. Yeah. No direct hit. And a direct hit. Gone. So he's definitely he's gone. Mm -hmm. All right. Rip all the bigs now. Mm -hmm. So this is it. If big, if um, if they oh could kill Nora, so yeah, Nora did regen her shield. This she did, so she yeah. has four. So he has to put four damage through. Mm -hmm. Which versus a one agility ship? Five. It was only two damage last turn, not three. Oh, okay. But she still has four health left. So she can't die in the shield, turn, which is problematic now because Nora's gone, and she's going to continually regen. So would you already. switch your targets then, knowing that information? If so, you check if. Rourke is in range one th of the stress bot. Maybe just kill him. I think you wheel. A, I think you wheel around and try to see if you can get Nora. And if you don't, you know that you'll almost almost always be able to hit Horton. Okay, so he's going after. This is still very much a game because Billy can yes. wipe Horton off the board. He's going to have two ships that are worth more than. Okay, nothing on the first TLT. So trigger off spec. If he remembers, two hits. Column zero. Column one. Mm hmm. Let's so see. that might have been a mistake. If he didn't use his focus, he could have called zero, got zero, and used the focus for two evades. Yep. Yep. Maybe he's holding on to it for the second shot. Well, it's one damage is one damage. Take That's a good point. And he evades that one. Okay. Zero. So there we go. Shot. So two. So you're taking one. Yep. All right. So now we have Nora officially down to three health, right? Yeah. yeah. What, what happened to the Y-Wing's engine? Yeah, it's broken. 
took a little too much damage. Yeah, did it? Was it not? Was it not fine before? I thought I, it was. I there. thought it was there at some point. We might not have noticed. Not that. all of us can survive the trench run. I know some of us are, are not noticing the fact that Horton's rocking that uh, broken uh, S foil back there. Well, it's not technically an S foil. It's, it's not, not an S foil at all. It's true. I'm not even close. It's an engine pod. Oh, you know what it is? I think Joe wanted his to look like the uh, official alt art card. Or the, the existing Gold Squadron card? Or at some point during the stream it broke. It's a joke because the squad, the, the card is actually, the art is really weird. The perspective yeah. is completely off and it's shifted almost like 20 feet back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, <whatever. laughs> There's people out there that find that humorous, okay? I'm sure there are. Yeah. They're not, they might not be in this room, but you're out there, people. Support me. All right. Everyone so, was happy you got nerfed. So what happens here now? I mean, we do know that Horton's going to do the, the two-turn ship right. Yep. Ezra's not stressed, so what does Ezra do? Ezra goes fast to maintain... Try to get out of arc. And then the Hawk does it one bank or two bank to clear stress? Oh, wait, no, only the one bank clears stress in the Hawk. The two bank doesn't. It's got to be forwards and a one bank only. You think you might see an Ezra go to... Uh, it's hard to see the table edge. Maybe see Ezra go a two-turn ship left mm. barrel roll. Oh, really? Get out of the way. And Ezra's only got two health. You can't mess around a whole lot here. But you would got to assume that with the... If he stresses himself and focus on evade... He's going to be quite difficult to kill. Yes. Who knows? Who knows? That's, uh... Or you just turtle these guys up, do your best to get rid of that Y-Wing. The Y-Wing took three damage. Yes. Yeah. In two turns, you could kill that Y-Wing. And maybe you can come around and get rid of Nora. Yeah. So this is the maneuver I thought made the most sense. Yep. Just uh, big turtles because here. Because even with the hard two, I still think he'll have TLT range. Or no, he might not. You could also, in theory, mm -hmm. barrel roll backwards, get, put yourself in range one of Horton, and take the evade. And just try to tank it? Tank just his three dice attack? Well, I mean, you'll probably be okay. And see, it. Looking Billy's like going to do. do that. He looks, now he's thinking, no shit, I'm probably going to hit that debris next turn. Yep. But a stressed Ezra isn't the worst. No. Except for the fact that now he has to do a one. I think he, I think Billy was thinking too, it gets him another angle to cut in on Nora. Yeah, you probably want to chase Nora if yeah, possible. Because you, you shoot 360, yeah. so it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. So at least Nora's going to be stressed. That's going to limit her maneuvers oh, to two so banks next turn as it's well. It's interesting to note that Billy took the eyeball. Mm -hmm. uh, Would have taken the evade. Because Ezra's ability on once, once stress yeah. gets uh, all eyeballs to evades anyways. So That's right. you might as well have taken the evade for the more evades. Yes. You're probably not going to get a shock this turn. And do you think that might just be... Um, Maybe a lack of comfortability with the list. Maybe he hasn't been re repping this one yeah, as, as often as possible. Yeah, maybe. Or he's really overzealous that he was gonna gonna be able to shoot Nora. Right. Because with the evade, I mean, it's pretty harsh for 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 Horton to put any damage on you. So if, if Horton rolls three damage, and Billy rolls two eyes, he's yep. gonna feel pretty bad. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. That evade keeps him alive. That evade pretty much guarantees you're probably not gonna take any damage. Mm. So PS twelve bump for the lols. Especially, yeah, you might as well bump yourself. Do do damage. Try to do two damage to Horton. Yep. Yeah. And if you don't, at least you give another evade. Yeah. Plus the other thing is too the PS12 bump. If you miss one of the shots, you should be able to trigger off spec. That's just it. So I mean, math says that you're probably not going to miss, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. you know. Uh, okay. So are we just forgetting that? Okay. It looks like we've had some forgetfulness going on on the field. Okay, so and... Ezra dies because no evade. Yeah. Yeah. Should have evaded, Billy. Also, he forgot to use Horton. So, that was an unfortunate turn because that's, I mean, for all intents and purposes, that is going to be game. I don't think there's a, uh, uh, a game, I don't think there's a way that it really comes back from that. It's a shame he forgot he could have Hortoned up. Uh, he could have rorked up his rork to PS12 and done that two damage before he lost his Ezra. And as you said, that evade token would have saved his life there because I'm pretty sure he rolled... Oh, he rolled blank focus, though. No, he rolled blank evade. He rolled blank evade, so evade would have given him two evades. He still dies. No, well, if crit. he had the evade token, he would have had a crit, and the crit was... Well, that's right, because he did take hit crit. That's right. That's true, so he might have been alive. He could have survived. Yeah. So he is going to be able to take down... Uh, he's going to take down Horton. Oh, he did no damage to Horton that round? Oh, he did two. Okay. So there's three damage left on Horton. And I mean, we're in what round? We're in the fifth round today, but this is like the seventh game of X Wing in the last two days with side events and stuff like that. Yep. It's a little warm in here under the bright lights. He might have just had a mental slip, um, but that was a rough. That was all around a rough turn for Billy. It's also, was that was pretty good roll by turn. Joe. Yeah, yeah. To get three naturals out of that, and one of those would be a crit out of no mods. That was epic. That's what he needed. Um, 
And it's a, it's one of those things where it's also easy for us to say, oh, shoulda, coulda, woulda done this as we're sitting here commentating. Uh, it's a lot different when you're on the, on the field trying your best to eke out a victory in, in this tough situation sort of a thing. So it happens. But now I think Horton does a three bank and gets into range, potential range one, but Hawk. It probably was just a lack of playing it, to be honest. Maybe uh, an unfamiliarity from like the uh, 40 games I played with that Ezra, mm -hmm. or at least a similar build on Ezra, you always took the evade. It was my first action is evade, and then it was like, hmm, should I barrel roll? Right. Okay, I focus. Right. So Horton has two life left, so let's really hope that uh, Billy remembers. He has three life left. Does he have three life left? Yeah, it's three life left. Yes, three. Oh, okay, so, so he, he can't, can't possibly kill before, him. So you're going to get some shots on that hawk. So Billy has literally forgotten that he can't, or he's assuming he can't work himself up. Maybe Rourke's ability says another ship. Maybe it does. And that could be what's going on. It's a not very commonly played ship, so who knows. Maybe we'll confirm before we start criticizing yeah, well, something that we don't understand. understand. It's another ship, so he can't one work other. himself. Okay, so okay. he's smarter than we are, and that's why he didn't do it. All right, so Rourke with the focus did zero damage, which Billy needed a lot. Mm-hmm. And now he can return fire. He can, in theory, get Rourke off the... Sorry, he can, in theory, get Horton off the board before Nora can close in to double-team yes. him. So, and Nora should have another shield back. She Unless she forgot her trigger again. Which could have happened. Judge? Did Nora forget her trigger again? For her shield? Because she did one bank to clear stress. So she th should theoretically have two right, So we're confirming right. with the judge. If Nora forgot her trigger like three times this game, Billy is a lucky boy. Only, only twice. Yeah. She was stressed last turn. Right? right. But she, she forgot her trigger like a few turns ago. Yeah, this, would, this would be the second time. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's still possibly a game for Billy. Hmm. If the trigger train keeps forgetting, that's what you that's need. That's definitely in his favor. So That's what you need. Yeah. Yeah. Next time you're going to have to write R2 on your forehead. That's exactly... Well, like the, the gentleman who played uh, the Nora, Shara, uh, Jess list had R2-D2 written on his hands. It's hilarious. He had R2 on one and D2 on the other. That's the, the open that he won because apparently he kept forgetting to do that. Oh, that's an interesting play there. Really. That's a good idea. I mean, you get out of the way maybe if your opponent is... Uh, you're hoping that he went for the three straight to kind of close yes. distance because you probably assumed that you were going to do the hard close, two. And closing the distance... or. Spreading the distance from uh, Nora is also not a terrible idea. You might want to clear that stress before you engage. He's got five health in total, and she could hit you for four, maybe. And it's also important to notice okay. that he did do a hard two, but unfortunately, Horton only did the two straight, which means no TLT shots. Uh, it looks like range one. It me. looks like it might be out of range one. You think? It's hard to tell. Again, these angles are super tricky for us. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's out of range one. Well, if it is, then that was another great play by Billy. If not, then we'll see what happens. Yep. Oh, yeah, nicely okay. done, Billy. So it's going to be a really clutch turn here. How much damage? Yeah. Will, do? will <laughs> Rourke is full health. Okay. So Ooh. I have a crit. Uh, so he take in one. Crit so on the shield. Down. Yeah. Okay. Comes the TLTs. Uh, That's a bit more manageable. He needs some evades once in a while. Okay. That's what he needed. Okay. Billy's been rolling some pretty good green dice here. And yeah, ooh, okay. So okay. that that exchange goes in that his favor. That was as good as the last two turns could have gone. Six attacks, one damage. Mm -hmm. And the forgetfulness on the regen. Yeah. We're not. Because right now, because Nora did do that hard two to get back into she position. Has two, she has two, she has two. Okay, so she did not forget the Okay, regen. so she did not for forget her triggers. That's good. At least we're playing a game of X Wing again. So, here's the thing Billy's going to hard two, Horton can hard two, but because they both do the same maneuver, in theory, they. Oh, wait, no, he's. Did Billy not do any damage? He hasn't rolled dice yet. Oh, dials are down. What's happening? No, he didn't. No, he rolled twice. He missed both. He missed oh, no, he forgot to fire. No, he fired twice. Then why is he rolling dice now? I don't know. Okay. No, he forgot to fire. Yeah, I think he forgot to fire. Oh. And Good save, again, man. There's, that, there's a death. Again, that looks like that Joe was the gentleman instead of him. Yeah, because the dial was fire. down. I mean, you could choose not to fire. I'm fairly certain that Billy had forgotten to fire with being flustered, and Joe was a class actor and pointed out the fact that he still had a chance to attack. Sportsmanship has been a pretty good thing so far. We've seen some great sportsman like acts in the past. Uh, Absolutely, and that's Last actually two days. But that's actually one of the tenets of our league too. We try that's to right. focus and foster that attitude the entirety of the time because we've got some players who come in having never played X Wing before, and that's what we want them to do. We we want them to feel welcome and understand that they're not going to get curb stomped by stuff that they don't understand. We're constantly trying to explain cards and lists and abilities to other people so that your opponents know what's going on. And at the end of the day, do you want to win that way? Some people no. do, and it doesn't look like anybody at this table does. So we have a so judge ruling here. We're assuming that yeah, Horton's alive still. Then he took one. Did he not die? 
He must have had two life left. He must have had two, uh, something, 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 something. I'm not sure about. All right, we're gonna double check, guys, with the droid. I thought, or with the droid, the judge. Well, I mean, they have they have everything at the table. This is our best representation exactly. of what the match shade is. We have a, someone at the table who's calling over stuff because obviously we don't have yeah. any of the cards or things on. on camera mm -hmm. yep. so we're in a separate room we can't necessarily see we're yeah. relying on those calls sometimes we get the calls late sometimes the calls are inaccurate you can see people flashing the zeros the ones the twos for damage and pointing out which ship so uh, every once in a while things will get a little bit out of sync we're trying to do our best we're doing our best and i mean i uh Sorry. just want to correct the judge here who was just speaking uh we're in the mist hunter yeah, we're in uh, a room. room? It, it's, it's just a sure. spaceship, okay? We're in a different sector, okay? And <laughs> some of us are humanoids, a few of us are droids. We, we, we do make mistakes. Exactly we might have missed this, a call or two. We're on a long, long time ago, so... And a galaxy far, far away. That's right. So we're, uh, we're relaying this information by a relay. So we're probably going to see a green maneuver, three straight, regen full, and Nora's sitting pretty on three hull, three shields, six life, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Not good, Billy. Not good, but... It, it is only three rounds of TLT fire. And that is true, but can you escape... Nora for three turns and she has a barrel roll? Uh, what's worse is Horton probably did the hard two for the range one shot for the uh, basically yet another stress and that's going to limit Billy's ability that he's not going to be able to TLT this round. Nora's, as you can see, closing the gap. She's going to two bank probably get oh. next turn. Oh, he one banked. I guess he thought I guess he thought something else was coming. I think he might have thought so that So he's still going to be in range one, but it looks like he's out of arc. Oh, well, certainly. Uh, so, yeah. that's good news for Billy. Yeah, it means that next turn that y Wayne cannot shoot. But also, you know what it also means? It means that Horton could decide to go... Run away? Ship right. Yeah, I mean, it's probably the smart bet at this point, just to run away. At this point, he, Joe could just let Nora come in and finish off the Hawk, which it would do no Hawk problem. Hawk could two-turn, though. Two-turn left, ship left. Right. Because I think what Billy has to do here. I think he's locked in on doing that, or just do the one straight. Both good options. Maybe not, because if he two, if the Y-Way two-turns, then the one straight means that he's up your bum again. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he goes for the one straight, thinking that Joe is going to bail... It's a safe assumption, but it's a gamble at this point. I think Billy needs to take a little bit of gambling here to hope for, for the win. I think so. So that's why I would have done the hard two. I mean, it obviously would have put him in yeah, Nora's sights, Nora sights, which he's trying to avoid. But I still think he's going to have a range three with a target lock focus, which could still very well be four damage anyways. Yeah, could be the end of our, our friend the Hawk. There you go. Focus evade. Sorry, focus target lock. And at least Billy's going to get the extra, extra defense dice, which is huge. That's true. And okay, so he's going yep. for the two turn. I wouldn't know. I think it's the safer maneuver. Yeah, that's a kill box. That is a kill box. All right, Billy. I'm assuming that's a dead hawk. Yeah. Uh, looks like it might. No, I think he's in. Oh, he might be out of arc again. We don't know. It looks in from here, but we can't tell. We might have to do judge call on that. We'll see what they rule. Yeah. Um, that's a bit of a difficult way to measure it. I think you need to put your thing along the line. Definitely but... put it on the table. Yeah, because that's. Because it's there's a little bit of. Uh, that's, misplay when you when you're when you have it above the table, right? That's a less precise list, but it's looking like uh, okay. I guess he's gonna so call Billy's it. Billy's happy okay with that. It. Okay, so one hit from Joe. Yeah. Oh no! There you go. They ruled it out, and okay. There we go. So three hits from Nora. And Billy taken one. Yeah. Not bad. Wouldn't Nora shoot first for guidance? No, Nora is PS seven. Rourke is uh, oh. sorry. Uh, Horton is PS eight. Okay, here comes the TLTs from Billy. One uh, hit. The big one hit. So call three PO for one zero. Take zero. Yep. Take nothing. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Oof. All eyes. eyeballs. All the paint. Nothing but focus. Hey, there you go. <laughs> he remembered the off-spec that time. The dream. Yeah. I guess though, technically, wouldn't his op so off-spec must only trigger at the end of the attack, just like a far, uh, FCS triggers at the end of the TLT yes. attack. Otherwise, Billy would have been able to pull focus off the first shot. Yeah. Because again, the the card reads you make this attack when you make this attack. That's right. Repeated twice essentially, so you are only making one attack. You just attack twice. So you think Billy's gonna try for a little ballsy two turn left, try to bump into Nora? Nope. nope. He's going two straight. Would you have done that? Nope. You think Nora's gonna go one straight? Yep. She's gonna one bank regen target lock focus. So there's no way he can bump. I think Billy's just doing his best to. Wouldn't be surprised if that was the a dice bank. Go his way. I see oh, two so, bank. Yeah. So you think a hard two blocks? A hard two would have blocked that. I think the hard two would have blocked that. That could have been huge. Mm -hmm. Based on he did, know, he, did he just have. did he just go two forward? No, I don't think hard two would have. Yeah, it might not have. But what it would have done is it would have put him out of Nora's arc. Yeah. Because if Billy if Billy no, just no, did a two arc. if Billy did a two forward, it would have been out of arc. My thought, I think. 
because it would have put him probably in there. It would have been close. It would have been close. But either way, the stress hog's coming in there with the hard two. Uh, the hogs. Oh. Did he fly off the board? He flew, he just flew off the board. Hey, okay. some luck. Oof. He was close. It was really close to the table edge. Yeah. I mean, I like Joe's call there. I don't think, I don't think doing the hard two last turn, knowing that it would be dangerous, was was risky. I mean, he's he's up in the situation. A point MOV no longer matters in this game, so he's just got to win. And so he, Billy's taking two. Yeah, yeah, he's got one left. One left. left on the hawk. Yeah, he's got to get some damage. Through. He did no damage last turn. Nor is still now the, six health. The problem is here is math. The most damage Billy can do. Oh, Billy is two, and with rolls like that. All right. With rolls like that, he's just not winning the game. Uh, Nora would would have evaded one of that damage potentially with three PO. He problem has is, to do two you have to every hit time. Two every time. And the regen is only going to be the one, so he has to technically do two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve damage. Right. So basically, that's not happening. Nora's gonna go two forward, maybe two bank, focus target lock. This, yep. is, this is when Billy needs the heart to the left, the ship left. Because, I mean, he could just go one forward and just light him up. Um, yeah, I'm imagining that arc is going one straight. That's what I would do. There's yeah. nothing Billy, there's nowhere Billy could go. What? That, there he goes, he's going for it. He's gonna go for it. You have to try something crazy. You gotta hope, maybe, just by. The grace of the dice gods that you could bump this guy and get yeah, out of the way because for if three he assumes, turns. The, nope, he's and just one straight. Through. I mean, there was no reason for Joe to do anything besides the That's one right. straight there. I mean, you gotta go. Sometimes you gotta go for the hail marys. Yeah, that was the right call in every stretch of the imagination on Joe's part. Like, why would you go to speed? You don't need to. You do the one. You get the stress. You token up, and you blast him. It's, it's, we might be seeing five damage here. Yeah, that's it. All right, that's four that's damage. GGs. Okay. Because he spends the target lock, gets yep. another focus, it's four damage, and there we go. So would you say the turning point of the game was when Billy went down the laneway and did the four straight instead of a cash one straight? I mean, you could say that, and that was a uh, a potential issue. The fact that Joe read that and decided to do that two, two turn was brilliant. It was very had, nicely thought out. Had Billy just done the one straight, he would have seen that, and then Joe would have been caught out of position. Yes. However, I think the true turning point, because Billy's, Billy's um, big survived that attack... The true turning point in that match was when he didn't take the evade token. Yeah, and Ezra died. Yeah, yeah, that was because a goof. if he would have kept Ezra alive, he would have had two TLTs to try to whittle down Nor uh, Nora. All right. I mean, again, best laid plans. We never know, but it was a great match fought by both of them, and we look forward to seeing you guys in the next.